Hey guys, my name is Jason from Sow the Land, and if you like the content we've been putting out, uh, please hit that thumbs up button, and the subscribe button, and the notification bell. The adventures of shoveling our pig poop continues. We got a pretty big pile here going. I started putting a tarp on it just to maybe make it more hotter. It'll probably rain today, which it's been raining pretty much every day this summer. This is such good soil, I'm tempted to like <laughs> scoop it up and go put it somewhere where I need it. Some of the things that we did really well this year was carrots and beets. We did really well. I mean, it's hard to, sometimes when your garden looks like the way it does right now, you could, it's tempted, you're tempted to be like, oh, we did terrible. I have to look at the things that did do well, because some years our carrots and beets don't do well. And the rain's harvesting some carrots and some beets. We have a, some cluster of beets right here. Don't really want that pig poop to be touching our food just just yet, just right now. Um, so we're trying to get this row out of here. Have some okra growing. So that way we can put some uh, chicken netting on here. Thank you, Penelope. You're welcome. A lot of beets here. We need to wash these off. We got cucumbers, some onions. Okay, this is all cleared out except for my okra, but honestly, I really doubt if the chickens are gonna mess with my okra plant. And I'm sad that my chamomile has to be here, but um, we have a ton of this holy basil tea. I've already harvested like a ton already this year, so this is like the last of my harvest. And I've got some more over here, so just in case I need more, but I think this is plenty. I'm trying to beat that afternoon sun. Once that sun comes out, forget it. in carrots, but we do well in other things. This year it's carrots and beets. You yeah. See the little carrot, Penelope? Mm, that's Bernice's carrot. Yeah. We had some good rains today, and it's been raining pretty much every day all this summer. Talking to some of the people who have been here a while, that have been living here, that this is a pretty wet summer here for us. This compost pile, or pig poop pile, <laughs> with wood chips is pretty dry still. I turned it, and the top looks wet, but then in the middle, it's still pretty dry. Sometimes when I'm doing stuff outside, I'm reminded of my past life. You know, my past life as a nine to five office guy. When I worked in an office, you know, I was behind a desk. I would crave the outdoors, man. Any chance I get, if I was not in the office, I'd go run, I'd go hike. And that feeling was a gradual feeling after I was in remission of cancer. I was getting tired of just sitting down all day, staring at a computer. You know, I felt like I needed to move around and get going and, get my hands dirty and build something and it just started to eat away at me. I'm hoping that it'll heat up a little bit and that'll help break down some of this and break it down even more as uh, the chickens are digging through it and then maybe put it back in a pile and do it all over again. Plus I have the tarp going. I'll get another tarp going for this pile and then that tarp will also help heat up these piles. And this stuff is very dry. Because in that shelter, they didn't get no water in there. No water came in. And shoveling these wood chips and pig poop, I'm reminded of a time when I used to, in my backyard, put rocks in a wheelbarrow and some logs, and I'd, I'd push that all around the yard in a circle. I had no other reason to use a wheelbarrow in our backyard. So I had to make up this, this reason, right? I needed to move around. I mean, it's funny to think about it now, but you know, <laughs> it's like I wanted, I wanted to shovel something in a wheelbarrow so bad that I was willing just to throw rocks in there and move it around. And sometimes when I'm doing these things where I need to, sh I don't want to shovel this. And when I think about it, I try to remember how I felt eight years ago when I was in my office 
And I used to run around the backyard filling up a wheelbarrow because I wanted to do something like that so bad. Well, now I'm doing it. And I need to think about that because we chose this life. We chose this. I guess what I'm trying to say is we signed up for this and I wouldn't change it for the world. <laughs>